Hey now, welcome back to Lone Star Mini Restoration. I am dropping the engine block into an electrolysis bath. All right, so what I'm doing is I am dropping my engine block down into a 55 gallon drum of water. I have been putting a washing soda in periodically as the tub fills up just to help stir it and uh, mix it in really well. Um, I have my battery and I'll show all this in a minute, but I've got my battery, my positive and negative set up, got the block set up, camera set up, everything's ready to go. Um, and I'm gonna let this guy sit for a minimum of 24 hours, if not more. So let me show you the setup. What I have here is I have put my engine hoist back together. I have a ladder sitting out here that has a, my typical uh, three to five amp uh, battery uh, charger. I've got that. I've got my 55 gallon drum. I cut the top out of one that I had and I filled it with water. And as it was filling up, I stirred it. Uh, I, I, I put in uh, washing soda. When you uh, do electrolysis, when you're doing electrolysis, um, it's better to use uh, washing soda versus baking soda. Washing soda is a sodium carbonate. Okay, so what I've got here is I have the anode, which is the positive terminal, going to a steel piece of rebar right there. Uh, I'm going to hook that bad boy up. And then what I've done, just for the sake of uh, the electrolysis pro uh, process, I have hooked wire. As you can see here, I've got wire going around the bin. I just have it strapped in so it doesn't fall into the water, uh, but going to another piece of rebar on that side. Um, now, the uh, cathode, which is the negative terminal of the, of the charger, is going to be hooked directly to the block. So there's the uh, negative terminal, and now I'm going to lower the block down into the water, and then I'll plug in the um, battery and let the process begin. All right, so what I have, uh, as you can see, I took an old engine stand bracket, um, hooked it to the engine hoist, hooked it to hooked the face of it to the side of the engine block, and that's what I'm using just to drop it in and hold it. So I've lowered the water, I've lowered the block just below the top surface of the water. This is where I am going to plug in the power and just make sure, yep, nothing's touching. The process has started. The battery's connected. The block is in the water, just below the surface. That is the first, the first cleaning, or maybe I should say the second cleaning, really. The vinegar was the first. This was the second, um, although, my gosh, I think it's looking fantastic by comparison to what it was. I mean, I see, when I look down in there, I still see some, some uh, garbage. Um... I mean, not much, but it's, it's, some of it's still there, so I'm going to let it soak longer. All right, this is day two. The block has been soaking again for another, I don't know, 12 hours or so. I've unplugged the power, taken all that away, and now I'm just going to basically lift this stuff up and look at that garbage that's uh, on the uh, sacrificial piece. Look at that, all the way down. Pretty gnarly. The, uh, the remaining uh, areas 
that I see of rust, this brush is just knocking it right off. The solution did the trick, and now the brush is, uh, is just taking it right off. while the electrolysis and the vinegar works, um, it's still, unless I, if, and I could have left it in for another 24, 48 hours, but I didn't. Um, if I did, I might not have need to have scrub it, but if I just touched it with my finger, man, it stuff comes right off. So, um, but I got way down deep with my rifle cleaning kit, and then I hooked it, I went out into the driveway, and I power washed it. Uh, power washed it a second time, all the cavities, and I think it's pretty good. Uh, am I done? I don't know that I'm, I may, I don't know that I'm done yet, uh, but I'm pretty doggone close. I, there may be some things that I do, but all in all, I think it's fairly successful. So now I'll bring the camera in. First of all, I'll show you the, the uh, cathode or no, the anode, and I'll show you some of the crap that came out of this, and then I'll show you the engine block, and I'll wrap it up. All right, as you can see here, this is a lot of the crap that came off, or, yeah, it came off my block. Look at that. So, does it work? I don't think there's any question. Yes, it works. Um, electrolysis definitely works. Now, to bring you into the engine... Uh, this is where I'm at. Pretty much 99% of the paint is removed. But as you can see, you can see, hopefully, let's, let me get a flashlight. See inside that area, it was, you know, solid rust. Um, and now it's looking pretty doggone good. Um, there's the water pump side. Let's see. Here's the inside of the engine. Of course, that wasn't really rusted, but it does look pretty clean. Um, here's the back side of the engine. Um, but all in all, it looks pretty dog boy. The numbers in the in the in the cast iron are beautifully perfect now. Uh, here's the the top side. And, I mean, all the holes are pretty doggone clean now. Here's the, uh, the water pump side of life. This is, it's actually quite good. Um, but electrolysis definitely works. So, uh, yeah. Any great, thanks for watching, and bye just now.